so we, we join you here at the E.T. Willett Park where the action continues. It's the under-16 Warriors out of the USA coming up against the Nevis under-16 team. And we'll have to get the details in a bit in terms of the score, but we'll get that momentarily. But I could tell you that the Nevis team is batting and it's a ball out there right now. Young Farrell taking strike from the medium fast bowler from the stay pavilion and there you go nice little action is driving but finds the man a short extra cover can't score that ends the over well it's the captain light brown who is taking strike and uh, we have the little spin bowler who is going to bowl from the bar to the end so here he goes Moves in now to bowl. Bowling wrist spinners. Punches it into the offside and he's off and running. Is Brown. Picks up a single easily. Punched it hard. Scorer. So that brings Farrell back into strike. As he goes. Moves in now to bowl. Nice loop on that. Quietly forward. Here he goes, moves in, nice little loop. He's punching it into the offside once more. Finds the short extra cover, can't score. Here he goes, punches it once more. And looking for the single, that's a... Oh, cheeky single, almost run out there. Good work by the young lass. Jones is going out to bat, so we have lost. Um, light brown, caught for 20 and uh, Farrell is there on 10 and uh, Jones goes out now to join him so that was the last ball of that over so the medium pace bowler now will bowl to Farrell the man known as Bolo he's on 10 but I've had a stint recently in England Settles over his bat. He's pulling at this one. Goes over the head at the man at mid on. He's going to race towards the boundary, but it slows up badly. Can they get free? They decide against it. But there he was getting a short delivery and deciding to go for the big pull shot. Cleared the man at mid on and went away for two. He's not the strongest of lads, is Bolo, but showing that he has intent and purpose here. So. Settles over his bat once more. So he goes, moves in now to bowl. He's oh, in the air, just short, just away from the man. Seems as if he was caught in two minds. Seems as if he was thinking about pulling. And at the last possible moment, just played a defensive shot. And the bat was high in the air. There was no bent elbow. It was high in the air. It was away from the man at short extra cover. The chap was shet, set and the chap was flown, but he got out of it, went away from the man. So settles once more, moves in now to bowl. He's turning it into the onside. They're off and running on the misfield, but um, he gets home safely, Jones. So one more to the total, lots of things happening out there. So. It's going to be the left-handed Jones, normally pretty ultra-aggressive. And maybe if he can just curb that natural aggression, he'd make a lot more runs. But he makes his runs quickly, I could tell you that. And normally includes one or two maximums. Let's see what his approach will be today. Settles over his bat as he moves in now to bowl. He watches that one throw outside the off stump. The umpire would have been watching that closely too. But it was within the line, within the mark. So, here he goes once more, bowling medium paces from the pavilion end. Races in now to bowl to Jones. Jones is punching at that and may have gotten an edge because the bowler is remonstrating with the keeper there as he goes back for the second run and got home safely. But um, the bowler seemed very disappointed and there's no signal from the umpire. So, well, let's see. Sometimes the... the signals are belated no there's no signal so that's a chance there to jones remember the wicket keeper is a young female but she has done very well so far 
Justin hold on to that one. Moves in once more to bowl. Pit stop is driving at that. He shouts his appeal. Thinks he has got him this time. The umpire this time is unimpressed. This time the keeper held on to it. And he was flashing at that. And just didn't hold on. So Stuart Williams is going out with something for for um Farrell. Seems as if um Farrell is having a little bit of heat stress. He is out there on his knees and uh, must be a little um fatigued. The sun is really hot too. And under the helmet, you know, could be pretty tough on the youngsters and they've decided to take a water break in the process so that's the break so he will settle over his bat once more and it's going to be the young leg spinner who picked up the wicket of light brown in the previous over and he'll be bowling to young farrell So here goes. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it nicely. He's driving. That's a lovely looking shot. And it goes past the man at short extra cover. They get one and it's a no ball. So it's going to be a free hit. But it was a lovely shot. He was on the front foot and driving it nicely. And uh, picking up a single in the process. I'm trying to figure out if. I'm seeing right. The person I'm looking at looks almost like Sterling Marshall. Umpiring. Let me verify. Wallace. So Sterling Marshall is umpiring. He loves a game of cricket. So if he can't get to play, and somehow he just couldn't get himself to to register as an under sixteen player, or he would have been playing. So he decided to umpire. He goes short with free hit delivery, smashing it down towards the man at long off. He has a long run. They might look for two here. He comes across, picks it up on the run, and they collect two. So two more to the total. Jones banging it down wide of the man at long off, and they picked up two. Slow would feel again. We're watching here closely. So he's bowling wrist spinners. He goes, bowls looped up nicely. He's getting that one on the pad. Thought about the single, sent back a wide signal. So actually a wide signal. He was trying to steal an, uh, an extra run, the um, Farrell, and decided against it. Um, Jones, so he settles once more. Moves in now to bowl. Jones gets one. He looped up. He comes solidly, quietly forward. On another day, I think he would have been looking at the villa. That was looped up. Juicy looking delivery. But he just came quietly forward. And I'm not too sure how many of those he'll play to deliveries like those. As he moves in once more. The youngster trying to tease him into error. Here he goes. Loops it again. This time he's swinging across the line. Might be another wide. And this time they're stealing the extra run. Bowler dives in. And they went through for the single extra run. So it's two wides. Two wides. Yeah. So it's going to be. So here goes, moves in now to bowl, nicely looped. He's driving in the air, but he clears the man a short extra cover. And he's going to get one. Again, not afraid to go aerial. Like I say, he's not the strongest of lads, but if, if and when he develops and matures, um, he's going to get stronger, those shoulders. That would go for four, definitely. The intention is there. That would have cleared the head and belted down the ground for four, but um, the strength not really into the shot. And it didn't go too far, but the intention is clear. Moves in now to bowl, bowl to Jones, who is a lot stronger, and smashes this one over extra cover. That's a lovely shot. That's gone into the boundary for four. Nice little bend of the knee there. And he slammed it over extra cover into the boundary for four. 
loops it again. He's choking this one. Another nice little bend of the knee. This time he didn't really belt into it. He just choked it. And well stopped in the end. No runs. We have a change in bowling. And the, the bowler taking quite some time to make sure that his field is set the way he wants it. And he'll be bowling to, to Farrell. Farrell, of course, so is has been there for a little bit. And um, showing some intent in terms of hitting the ball in the air over the top. Not getting too far as yet, but he has the intention. So let's see what happens in this over. Here he goes. Moves in now. Bowling wrist spin as well. Watches that one. Little bounce and turn. Farrell just watches it. A wide signal by the umpire, interestingly. So going wide of the mark there. That thing, the spin taking it away from the mark. So a little bit of turn for him and bounce as well. Just needs to get it closer. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it there to file. File is punching this one. And I think he tried to really bang into it, but he didn't really time it. And he just um, bubbled back up the strip to the bowler. So he settles once more. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it once more again. The ball spinning away outside the option with a wide bit signal. The umpire says yes. So he's starting that leg break outside the off stump and just spinning further away. So hopefully he will learn from that as he moves in once more to bowl to Farrell. He's slapping it in the air once more. Again, not afraid to hit it in the air. And they're thinking of the second. This could be a struggle. But it's not a strong return and Farrell gets two. So again, not afraid to go aerial. Again, the power not there to take it to the boundary, but he got two. He goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to foul. Shorter, flatter. He's getting one that popped on him. There's a loud shout as he struck him on the pad, but he was reaching a long way down, and I think he pitched outside the leg stump as well. And the umpire is unimpressed. So Farrell will settle. As he prepares to bowl once more, he's driving at that. Really a shot in anger there. Really flashing, throwing everything at that, and he missed it. It was true to the keeper, well taken by the wicket keeper on that occasion. The bowler hustling the batsman, no time to settle. Moves in now, he's driving, tugging it into the onside this time towards mid on. So, really should be playing a lot straighter in the V. He was t playing across the line and just tugging it down to, to mid on, who stops it easily. As he moves in once more to bowl, the leg spin, the bowls, loops it. He's swinging into that. There's nobody deep at mid-wicket. It's running down the hill. Can he get four this time? It crosses the line. It goes for four. That's a lovely shot by Farrell. Gets a round of applause in the process. Not afraid to belt into them this time. Going down the hill. And he traveled away for four. Lovely shot by Farrell. Farrell seems to be under some real stress. Having hit that four, he again goes down. And uh, normally, if you are fully okay, you'll be standing and ready to run. As we see the young female spin bowler who bowled a really good spell the other day. She is back into the attack now. She got a couple of crucial wickets. I think Jones was one of them, if I remember correctly. Not too sure, but I think Jones was one. I think he was he was bowled by this young lady. So Farrell is back on his feet and really seems to be struggling out there. So we have a deep mid wicket. And a close corner for Jones and a long on. And everybody else packed in the offside. Here she goes. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it. Jones is taking it on the full. Clips it away nicely. They should be thinking to here. But um, very early decided against it. I think because of Farrell. I think Farrell is saying, you know, I'm not up to running too many rushed runs here. I uh, need a little break. I think he's under some stress. As he settles now. And it will be the female. Now the field closes in. Interestingly, there's nobody deep at mid-wicket. And Farrell just showed that he could heave over mid-wicket. 
So I think he'll be very willing to go the aerial route over midwicket again from this end of the ground. So let's see if he can take it on the full. He would need to get to the pitch though. He goes, ball loops it, she does. He down the track, he hits it. Ariel again, he's going down the hill once more. Into the offside this time. It's not going to go for four. And they come back for two. So not afraid to chip and drive on that occasion. It was Ariel, but he was away from the fielder. And he went down the hill, they got two on this occasion. So showing aggressive intent. Definitely showing aggressive intent here, Farrell. Settles over his bat once more. Somebody says bat on bolo. That's his nickname. Flights it once more. He's back on the back. Flights it in the air. Just short of the fielder. So he was looking to punch it. And fortunately didn't really pack a solid punch on that one. Dropped well short of the field at extra cover. The field is trapped. The, field is, the trap is set, I could say. They're trying to get him to play it in the air. This time he's tugging it through the onside. They might think too, depending on the situation. They're coming back. Jones is coming back. Farrell is hustling in, and they will get two. So two more to Farrell. He's really looking busy, even though he seems, as I said, to be under some duress. Look at him. He's under some stress here. But he's fighting it. Whatever it is, he's fighting it out. And maybe he's saying, you know, I, I might have to go off, so I'm going to see how many runs I can score before I actually go off. Here he goes, loops now, and he's punching it, but finds the short extra cover, can't score. Again, he, he bends over his bat, trying to concentrate, trying to fight whatever it is. Settles now, as here she goes, moves in now to bow, loops it. Now he's driving powerfully down towards mid-off, can't score. And that ends the over. So, right away he goes down again. And Stuart Williams, who somewhat knows what's going on, has gone out with something for Bolo. So, it seems as if he's going to get a quick snack or something. So... Really struggling, I could tell you. But whatever it is, he trying to fight it. Well, the sad news is that Farrell has actually retired. So he retired. He definitely was under some stress. It was obvious from this distance. And after words with Stuart Williams, the coach, I guess he decided it was decided that he should come off. There's Sam Jones punching this one just past the bowler, thinking of the single, more than thinking of the single there through. The bowler was a little slow in reacting, really, after misfeeling initially, and they get an easy single. So the new batsman is Aidan Williams, who has gone out to bat, and uh, he batted pretty long in the last innings, probably got in the teens, would be hoping for an even longer knock today. So here goes. Moves in now to bowl. The leg spin up flat and this time turned into the onside by Williams. Was in the air for just a short time and right away the fielder takes a couple of steps in. I don't think uh, the bowler or the captain told him that. He's a very astute little cricketer. He is. He stepped in two steps. Here he goes. Bowls now to Williams. Williams is beaten. It came off the edge and it was in the air pass between... Rushing back looking for a second, but um, that might have been just suicidal. So there's no signal from the umpire. Obviously, came off the bat. It went between the slip and the keeper and went away for his first run. So that brings Jones back into strike and the fielders rushing hither, thither, and yon. You have a deep square leg, a deep mid wicket, a deep, well, a long on and a long off in place for Jones. Oops, he now to bow short and he's that one keeping low and going away outside the off stump. He looked back at the umpire expecting him to signal wide and must have been pleasantly surprised that it wasn't given wide. It was pretty close to that though. Here he goes, moves in now to bowl to Jones, loops it up. Jones is getting one that he stands up straight and just punches it to the man at short extra cover, can't score. 
seemed a little late on that shot indecisive maybe here he goes moves in once more to bowl there he goes loops it up now beaten that that one spun away from him um looks as if it was a googly really but he played it into the offside and can't score that ends the over the action continues with williams in strike watches that one flow outside the off some wide signal by umpire sterling marshall so we have to take a close look at umpire sterling marshall he knows how to bowl an off break he knows how to hit a ball but we're watching now to see if he knows how to umpire here he goes moves in now to bowl loops it there nicely williams again watches it land and just watches it spin away to, to the keeper so might be thinking boy if that young lady bowls a googly it could be in some trouble here here he goes now moves in now loops it this time looks as if she bowled the off break and he was the the arm definitely twisted the other way and uh, a little bounce there and it beat the batsman through to the keeper once more now they've decided to put a slip in place good thinking by the captain williams very tentative indeed and the short extra cover is in a lot closer they're thinking that we could have this one so williams will settle once more he's under pressure there she goes loops it here he's pushing it this time solidly forward pushes it quietly into the offside can't score so she's not afraid to loop trying to tease him into um, indecision and so far williams holding on here he goes moves in once more to bowl to williams williams gets one full of pitched and away and a no ball signal and a free hit signal so williams has a chance now to swing the willow that one pitched well outside the off stump but apparently she overstepped in the process so at least sterling marshall is watching the front foot no balls really closely must have bowled a few himself in his career sterling marshall so free delivery moves in out to bowl to williams williams will swing at that and picks out square leg they're off and running jones is down quickly and they get a single so shot in anger swinging at that one knowing it was a free delivery and hit it straight to the young lady at um, square leg so today we have actually three young ladies on the field um, last match we had two Now that makes me wonder. Uh, get back to that. As here goes, moves in now to bowl, loops it, and he's smashing that one. Oh, I think he touched the hands of the man at short extra cover, and it's still peeled away close to the boundary, and they get two. But it was in the ear. The little man got his hand to it and must have damaged his hand in the process. He's wringing it. And he was hit hard, I could tell you. Bravely, he's a very good cricketer. He put his hand to it but couldn't hold on. And the ball almost took his hand with it in the process. He's still out there kind of ringing it there, favoring it. But he still can say, come on, and encourage the bowler. Nothing wrong with his mouth. Here goes now. He moves in now to bowl, loops in now to... Ooh, that must have shaved the off some because he was tentatively back on the back foot, played a casual-looking shot, Jones, and it was through him to the keeper. And uh, now, no harm done in the end, but um, that must have been pretty close to being bold. There's Williams, a late cut, but well stopped. Played that late, it was flat and fast. He used the pace of delivery and just dabbed it nicely, but well stopped on that occasion. goes now moves into bowl this time he comes solidly forward the same fielder moves across and stops it can't score so with the two females in the field I'm wondering if one of the males is wicked keeping that's what I'm thinking about now beaten outside the off some well taken by the keeper there little dab once more from Williams
bowler rushing him. He settles though in time. Here he goes, bowls. This time he comes solidly forward. Plays it into the onside. Can't score. Let's settle once more. Moves in now to bowl. Looped up. He's driving this time. A little more forcefully on that occasion. Finds the man at um, extra cover. Can't score. Well, a short mid-off position comes across and stops it nicely. Here he goes now. Moves in now to bowl. Loops this one. He's cutting at that. Misses the shot. Shoot to the keeper. That is a wide. Signaled by the umpire. Encouragement for the bowler. Telling him to get it close. It moves in once more. Loops it, the leg break. He gets a little bounce on it. He chops it into the offside. The fielder comes across, stops it nicely. And that doesn't end the over. Yes, it ends the over. The score is currently 82 for the loss of two. Jones is pushing it into the onside. Nice little shot there away from the fielder who has some running to do. Can't prevent the single. So one more to the total, and maybe Williams can do something similar. Um, maybe just get the singles rather than soaking up dots. Just try to get uh, off strike. Well, he'll settle once more. Close net field. So here goes. Moves in once more to bowl. Full toss. He's smashing into that. And can only pick out a uh, mid-off. He really went at that one with some power. But picks out mid-off. Close in. Extra cover was already taken. Evasive action. Here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Williams. F drives once more. Away from the man. Down the hill it goes. They should look for two here. And they're turning for that second run now. And definitely playing that one um, with some intention on that occasion. Driving it hard and picking up two in the process. So, Williams showing that he can score. And his intent on scoring settles over his bat once more. Moves in now to bowl. Watches that one a little wider. Goes past, well, between the keeper and the first slip. And I think a wide would be signal. Well, by a by signal on that occasion. So one more to the total. Marshall deciding that it was not wide enough to be a wide. And it's interesting to see when Jones comes on strike how much. Running the fielders have to do to get in position. They go pretty co close to the boundary, some of them. Here goes Lope. So Jones hits it. Ariel, the man at long off, comes across. It's away from him. He has a run. They stops it just inside the rope. And they'll only get two. But um, somebody's saying that should have been free. And it went a long way, really. And um, he got two. Took it on the full. Intention clear, went aerial, wide of long off, but he got two. Here she goes once more, moves in now to bowl to. This time he's having a swing at that. Definitely a bend of the knee and a big heave. And he was beaten all ends up, true to the keeper. And that ends the over. It goes past the fielder, they're rushing to for the single. He gets home safely. So, 89 the score for the loss of two. We are in over number 20. So, Jones back in strike. Fielders have a long way to go. They have a lot of work to do because if they take singles for the next three deliveries, that's a lot of running over um, across the field. He's having a sweep at a wide delivery. Wide will be signaled. It was pitched outside the leg stump going straight through. And Jones has a swing at it. Backward up squares vacant. Fine leg vacant.
Could have had some runs there. Settles once more. He bowls outside the up some this time. Spinning away. That could be another wide. This time an offside wide. The umpire obliges. That one spun. But it was dropping well away outside the up stump and still spinning further away. So he has the ability, the ability to bowl the leg break and still can bowl the off break. There he goes. That seems to be the off break. He punches it into the offside. Down towards the man at long off. And they'll only get a single. There he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. That's a leg break this time. Stodgily forward is um, Williams. Just jabbing the bat at it, keeping it out. Settles once more. There he goes. But he's down the track. He's swinging. He's stumped. Like as if he was stung by a bee on that occasion, Williams. Charged down the track, had a swing. The keeper had the bills off in a flash. And that's another wicket going for Nevis. Williams goes. Well, it's apparent that young Farrell has overcome his initial woes. He's back out to bat after retiring early on 25. So he's 25. And he's back at the crease. Um, that's following the loss of the wicket of Aiden Williams. Just stumped. Nicely stumped, I must say. And so the score, 91 for the loss of three. 91 for three. So Farrell, let's see if he can resume where he left off. He was batting very positively when he retired out. Well, well, he retired, not out, but retired. And so he's back out batting now. First ball up, 25 not out he is. He's back on the back foot, just pushes it, and then saying after the fact that I should have pulled that. Maybe showing the bowler, well, next time you bowl a ball like that, I'm going to pull you over mid-wicket. Don't try that again. Here he goes once more, moves in out to bowl. This time he loops it fire. He's swinging that one into the onside. The fielder has a chase, chasing after it. They should get at least two here. And uh, they get two very easily. So two more runs to the total, taking it on the full and swinging it into the onside. So continuing nicely from where he left off, gets two more. So here goes. Moves in now to bowl. Full toss and he's swinging that one away. And uh, it's going to go close to the boundary but not close enough. It's going to pull up and they get free. Full toss, loose delivery. Coach is saying offside. Disappointed with that delivery. And he didn't really latch on to it the way he wanted. So they only got Three in the process. So Farrell will settle once more. And the bowler will move in now from the bath hotel end. Again, the right hand, left hand combination creating issues for the fielding team. They have a lot of work to do in terms of adjusting the field setting. So here it goes. Moves in now to bowl. Well looped. Farrell is cutting. Finds the fielder there at um, uh, point position. Well fielded, I must say, because the ball was traveling and uh, can't score. Here it goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Bowls. Farrell again is punching. This one finds the gap on the offside, even though it's a packed offside field. Sliding save. And they pick up an easy single. Farrell still looking positive. The 
Again, the adjustments to the field. The bowler deciding to go around the wicket. And this time going between the umpire and the stumps. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is driving just short of the man at point and they're rushing through for the single. Farrell is quick and they get home quickly. So one more to the total. So it seems as if um, it's not a female keeping today. I think it's a male. But the two females are in the field. Probably this was the keeper the other day, I think. And the bowler was the bowler. So, Farrell it is, settles over his bat, a low crouch, little man, here he goes, moves in out to bowl, loops it up, Farrell is swinging into that, again the power not there, but at least the intention is, gets it out towards mid on, and the one more to the total. So that brings the more powerful batsman Jones. He can pack a punch. Settles now, takes strike, loops it. He's on the back foot and just guides it nice into the offside. And that looks like young hero um, feeling for the Indian team. Feels it well and they can score. So 21 overs completed. The score 99 for the loss of three. So it's um, Farrell in strike. Bowls. He's on the back foot, punches it, finds Hero in the way. He's a good fielder, I could tell you, Hero. Good cricket all around. Punches it once more, thinking of the single, but the ball is coming across, stops it easily. Can't score, no power in the shot. So, here he goes, moves in once more to bowl to Farrell. Farrell, he was struck well outside the leg stump, definitely, but his head was in the air. And his back foot was struck, but his foot was planted outside the leg stump. It was a loud appeal, but um, definitely struck well outside the leg stump. Here he goes once more, bowl, loops it. Now he's on the back foot, just manages to squeeze it out of his stumps. It was dead on stumps and he should have been on the front foot played it late but managed to get his back down on it and kept it out so a bit more front foot bowler here he goes bowls again he's on that back foot trying a belated dab might be well advised to be playing more front foot the ball is looping it and that back foot play could be pretty dangerous here he goes once more a little bit of a whirlwind here. Fielders um, turn their backs and close their eyes, I would assume. And Sterling Marshall is giving some advice about whirlwinds. He, he's a master of every topic, really. And, and he would be telling them how a whirlwind starts and how it ends. He's that kind of guy, Sterling Marshall, very knowledgeable about the weather, about the environment, about electricity, about, well, lots of stuff. As he runs away now to square leg to continue his role as an umpire. Knowledgeable about cricket too, I can tell you that. So here goes, moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is swinging that one over. It's a deliberate shot, but the power, the power, lacking the power, and the fielder would pull it in. And they have decided to settle for two. But deliberate shot going over mid on, intentional, and getting two more. And just watching Jones standing alongside Bolo. Well, that's just the long and the short of it. The little man looking up towards Jones there. And uh, he's probably saying, Jones, um, keep batting. We're doing well. And so. Once we stay here, the run's going to come. So, the young lady back into the attack from the far end. 
Oops, and out to bowl to Jones. Always an interesting matchup. Swings into that. He has gone pretty straight. It's land safely. It's going between the two fielders, but um, one of them will pull it in. And so they'll only get two. But definitely going aerial, but going straight on that occasion. So two more runs to the total. Not afraid to go aerial, these two batsmen. Jones will do it more powerfully, though. Here he goes. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it again. Jones is pushing it nicely into the onside. They might be thinking, too. Bowler looks as if he wants to. And uh, turning nicely, facing the ball. That's the correct way to do it. And Jones is not interested in the second. So just one more to the total. Umpire Marshall clearing some debris. And uh, he's indicating to the batsman, I think, that maybe they were running down the middle. Or the ball, I'm not sure. Somebody was running down the middle of the pitch. And so it's not an official warning from umpire Sterling Marshall, who might be thinking now about um, making it to the West Indies regional level. Um, if, if if this the gig goes well, you never know. DJ might be thinking big. Might be telling um, Carl Tucker to retire. Here he goes, moves it now, loops it now. Bowler is swinging into that. That time, that one has some power. It's going down. The hill is gone for four. That's a lovely heave. And it was a no ball. So he can now swing at the free hit. And that one, he really swung into that meatily. And uh, whatever was stressing him earlier, that's gone. No bending over the bat no more. Looking very positive. That's gone for four. Lovely heave there by Farrell. So now he has a free hit. Has all license to swing and swing big. Can he hit a six, Bolo? Here he goes. Moves in. Now he's down the track. He's swinging. And uh, the keeper didn't even remove the bails because he knows that um, it's um, a free hit. So he decided, well, if I remove the bails, they wouldn't send him anyway. So he just shadowed the stumps and Bolo is back in his crease. So he settles now. As uh, the bowler moves in now to bowl to Farrell, loops it. He's on the back foot. Oh, uh, gets past Hero. Hero was trying to pull it in with the left hand. And it went past him. And one more to the total. A belated dab on that occasion. And again, the field shifts for the left hander. So the left-handed Jones will settle as he goes from the battle till end. Moves in now to bowl to Jones. Jones is on the back foot punches it. The man comes across. That's a good bit of fielding. Great bit of fielding. Sliding save that. And it really was traveling. And he got across there and slid nicely and pulled it in. Got the return in quickly. But one more to the total. So, Farrell will settle now. Still no deep mid-wicket. They should have realized by now that he can go over mid-wicket. And they still haven't um, put a, a three-quarter. Well, here goes. Farrell is driving. Nice effort there by the short extra cover. Sliding across. Stops it nicely. Ends the over. One hundred and eleven for three. Jones back in strike. Start of a new over. Long on, wideish, mid wicket short, square leg deep, mid wicket deep. 
long off in place as well. He's driving, and that's straight. That's a lovely shot. The man races across. Can't stop it. It's four. That's a lovely shot. A bend of the knee, and he just stroked it beautifully down the ground. That was a lovely shot by Jones. Fielder was racing across for all his worth, but just couldn't get there. He was hit as straight as an arrow. Gone for four. So here he goes once more. Jones settles. Full toss, he's sweeping at that. Goes past the keeper who made a lazy grab at that one. Think he's trying to turn. He's going back. He's Jones. He's hustling. He's going to get the direct hit. Might have been interesting. And now he goes past the bowler. And so poor work here by the fielders. And let's see what would be signaled. I think it would be wide. And they got three. Let's see what the umpire would signal. Was there a touch on that? There is no signal from the umpire. So it would count as runs. Interesting that. So it will be Farrell now to take strike. Again, deep midwicket pretty vacant. Farrell has shown that he has the intention of going over midwicket in the air. Here he goes, moves in now to bowl. That's outside the off, some spinning away. Big turn on that occasion, flatter, faster. And Farrell just watched it through. One of the best shots in cricket, really, the leave alone. And if people use that in life to leave certain things alone, you know, it might work out better for all of us. Here he goes once more, moves in now to bowl to Farrell. This time he's beaten. That one, he was comprehensively beaten, cut in two. And he bounced and kept a little straight on. And now thinking I should have been on my front foot. Told you so, Bolo. More front foot play. As he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is pulling at that. There's a half appeal as he was struck. But that one making a little bit of height. He was trying to pull over maybe square leg on that occasion. He missed the shot. Was struck on the body. Half shout. Here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is watching that one as it spins away outside the off stump. That ends the over. So we have a, a change in bowling. The female is off. And we have a new bowler from the far end. I think he would have bowled before. And I think he bowls leg spin. Let's have a look at him. Deciding to bowl one. Have a warm up bowl. Umpire's waiting on him. So he's going to prepare now to bowl to Jones, who is really warming to the task here at the ETW. Sending the long off a little wider. Maybe he should have left him straighter because there's a big gap between that wide long off and that wide long on. Yes, Jones, Jones is going straight. That's a lovely heave and going straight. One bounce into the boundary for four. Six. It's gone all the way. Jones has hit it all the way. It's gone for six. And uh, I told you so. Um, they were pretty wide. That long off was very wide. Now they have pulled him a lot straighter. He's a lot straighter now. Deciding, well, okay, I'm going to make it straighter, but the long off is still pretty wide. Jones now can go um, a little to his left, I guess. This time he's playing it carefully into the offside. A very carefully, I must add, because it seemed as if he was thinking about going for the big heave. And then remembering that the field was a lot straighter on that occasion, it seemed as if as an afterthought. He just stroked it pleasantly into the offside and picked up a single in the process. So, here he goes once more, moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is pulling that one, no real power into it. And he's struggling and sliding. Well, 
I thought he made a fundamental error on that occasion. He was running with the bat held high. Should have put in the dive a lot earlier. So what he did in the end was a slide, and he seems to have scooted his knee in the process. Uh, maybe he has damaged the pad in the process as well, because he was skating on those pads in the end. And um, they got uh, a run. He got in safely, but it was a direct hit. He was in problems. So the batsmen have taken the opportunity for a water break, and so too the fielders. They too are enjoying a water break and a little admonition from the coach. Four point three overs completed, one twenty six for three, and uh, we have Jones on thirty eight, and Farrell on Farrell on thirty seven. So both batsmen batting pretty well. So Jones will settle. The bowler moves in now to bowl to him. Beaten, comprehensively beaten. And the umpire is unimpressed. Keeper had the bails off, but Jones was pushing tentatively at that one. And he was beaten, flew to the keeper. Keeper had the bails off in a flash. Jones, apparently his back foot was grounded. The umpire was unimpressed. But he was definitely beaten. That one spun away from him. Beat him all ends up. So Jones will settle once more. That was a good delivery that. Landed and spun. Loops again. This time he's driving firmly back up the strip to the bowler who comes across. Feels it well. So Amari Jones will settle. When I saw him first um, at the primary school level, he was a medium pace bowler. And I think he bowls up spinners now. Strokes it into the offside. Sliding effort. That's young. Um, well, good work on that occasion. That's young hero. Being a hero there. Very good cricketer he is. And they only got a single. So it's going to be Jones in strike. As the right arm. Rispin of bolt. He's swinging into that as he picked out the man. Oh, maybe not the best. Maybe not the best effort in the world. He stopped four, but maybe should have dived to collect that. But um, Jones almost gave it away there. Almost picked out the man. Fortunately, just in his hard enough. And it landed just in front of the fielder who maybe could have put in the dive. I'm not sure. But um, he stopped four nonetheless. So that gets um, Farrell back on strike. He moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Flatter, faster. He's on the front foot. That must have popped on him. He removed the right hand from the bat. Some uncertainty in the shot. Kept it down though. Can't score. So here goes once more. Somehow it reminds me of Ashwin from India. Loops it now. He's driving at that and they're off and running. Gets an easy single. So one more to the total. So in the under 15 Leeward Islands trials, Farrell scored 40 plus twice and now I think he's on 40 here would want to complete the half century this time around here goes bows now flatter and faster to Jones turns it neatly into the onside they might be thinking too the keeper isn't the fastest on the field but he does a quick hustle and uh, they think about it seriously but not seriously to get themselves run out so it's only a single
Here he goes. Still that open acreage in the outside. Midwicket. Here he goes. Flat and he's punching this one. Even though it's a well packed offside field, there was Hero covering for the short extra cover. He didn't have to because he fielded it well. He was punching at that. Stopped well. So here he goes once more. Oh, should have been on the front foot once more. Hits the keeper on the shoulder. Was in some pain. That ends the over again. He was on that back foot, dangerously so. That ends the over. One hundred and thirty one for the loss of three. Farrell goes up now to forty two. And uh, that's Jones on to forty one, and Farrell is on thirty eight. One thirty for the loss of three. And we're in over number twenty seven. So over number 27, Farrell and 38. Here he goes, bowls, and he's just punching that one back up the strip to the bowler, can't score. Let me just verify these scores. As he moves in once more to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is driving a bit aerial, but he was hit hard. Goes past the field, who took his eyes off the ball. They're thinking of the second, but um, they decide against it. So 131 for three. We'll get the individual scores momentarily. But it's Jones, Amari, and the fielder at long on is very straight now. Turns it into the outside. Fielder slides across, stops it nicely. Prevents the run. Pushing gently on that occasion. Maybe just looking for the single, but it's not on. Here he goes once more. Moves in now to ball to Jones. Loops it up. Jones is sweeping. Shouts his appeal. Sterling Marshall is on impress. And uh, shouting his appeal there. Jones was sweeping. Struck on the pad. Sterling Marshall shook his head vigorously. Here he goes. Moves in once more to ball to Jones, loops it. There's Jones struck on the pad. He's shouting his appeal once more. That time he was stretching out to this one. Umpire Marshall unimpressed. That ends the over. So 133 for three. Jones on 43. And uh, Farrell on 38. Turning at that one, it goes down the leg side. It should be signaled wide. Wasn't a bad delivery, but um, once it's outside the leg stump, how the rules go, that's going to be a wide. So here it goes. Moves in once more to bowl to Jones. Flat and fast. He's swinging that one away. There's nobody behind there. It might travel all the way. It's rushing towards the ropes, but it might just slop as well. I think it has very slow feel. It's going back for one on the... Oh. Turning blind almost. And I think Farrell warned him in time. So Jones went back. So he got two. So two more to the total. So he goes up now to 45 by my reckoning. And uh, we'll settle over his bat once more. There he goes. Moves in now. To bowl to Jones. Loops it up. Jones is driving smoothly. Nice looking shot down towards the man at long off. And he races in, and it's only a single. He moves up now to 44. So Farrell, the right-hander at the other end. And not a lot taller than his bat. 
when you really look at it from this distance. Um, but he's a very determined youngster, very talented as well. Settles over his back now. So he goes, moves in now to bowl to Farrell flat and fast. He's tugging this one down towards mid on. Oh, a little mix up here. Jones was literally holding his crease. Farrell was charging through. And somehow, um, I think good sense prevailed and he decided to go back in his crease. But certainly a mix up in communication there. So here goes. Sun pelting down at this moment. So moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is driving loose there, that one. Hits the keeper solidly on the pads and goes into the offside. He's trying to maybe heave at that one, Farrell. And missed that one completely. True to the keeper, struck the keeper on the pads. Keeping up with a real crouch, just a slight crouch. Here he goes, flat again. He's tugging this one into the onside. Off and running. This time, no hesitation. And a bit of an overflow, but backed up. And so, they settle for one. Over firing strike comes solidly, quietly forward, pushes it into the offside, can't score. Close run taken there, but um, he got home safely. And he's getting closer to an half century, the um, Jones. We'll have to verify, but I think he's on about 46 or so. And um, Farrell would be on 40 or so. Somebody just told him that he was pretty close to his half century. He said, okay, not going to give it away. Here he goes, balls outside the off stump. He just watches it through. Looks up at the umpire. Marshall is not impressed in terms of thinking about a wide. So, here he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. He's belated dabbing at that almost after the ball had passed him. Ends the over. So, Jones sweeping that one away. First ball after a break, water break, and swinging it away. Picking up two in the process. I think that puts him now on 49. He needs just one run to get a well-deserved half century. So he goes, moves in now. To ball to Jones. Jones is pushing it into the onside. He knows that he's looking for his 50. And he's off and running. Calls for it. Raises the bat. So half century. Half century to Jones, and he's going to be congratulated by young Farrell. And so, 50 to Jones. He knew what he was looking for on that occasion, just pushed it and called early for the single. Well played by Jones. So, 50 not out. Now, Farrell, he's on 41. He has nine runs to celebrate similarly. Can he do it? Still maintaining a pretty close-knit field for him. Here he goes. Bolt is swinging it. Has he cleared the man? Bailey. Actually, it's a chance. Um, like I said, he's not, the he's not the strongest of cricketers, his arm, young Farrell. He was aiming to clear the man. He barely did. A taller man would have pulled it in. He got his hand to it and disappointed that he didn't hold on. So that. Puts him now, I think, on 43. He's driving. That's a lovely shot. The man is racing across. Sliding effort. And he'll get one more. So Farrell still playing positively. And the intention to score is there. If you could just give him an ounce of power more. I think he'll hit a six bolo. He has intentions. He has big intentions. 
two more pounds of cornmeal and three dumplings. Me just do it. And some fish. Well, here goes. Moves in now to bowl to Jones. Jones is punching it into the offside. Finds the man at point. The ball was charging down. Ball came to the wrong end. Jones was still ball watching. Probably hoping that it would pass the the fielder and ball was charging down. And unfortunately, the ball went to the keeper's end. Ball was able to get back. So here goes once more. Ball short. He's tugging it. Has he picked out the man? Oh, jumps just away from him. Probably for the second time. But it was struck hard, admittedly. And the fielder just didn't hand it well. And it went through him for four. Was struck hard there by Jones. Really banged it hard on that occasion. The umpire trying to get the scorers to acknowledge his signal. Here he goes once more. That ends the over, belatedly. 149 for free. Farrell is bold. Farrell has dragged it on. Well, there's some debate as to whether it came from the keeper or from the batsman. The umpire is sending him on his way. I think he has tugged it on. Now he's arguing. Is is arm um, Farrell? Well, apparently the bills did not come off. So he dragged it into his stumps and the bales did not come off. Well, well, well. How fortunate can you get? Well, well, well. So first of all, there seemed to have been some debate as to whether or not it came off the keeper and onto the stumps. And then it's Sterling Marshall, the test umpire at the far end, came down and indicated that the bales were not dislodged. So apparently it came from the bat of the batsman into the stumps. The bales were not dislodged. How fortunate can Farrell get? He should own this 50. Again, there's hesitation. And finally, he trumps home. But some hesitation there in the run. So... If Boulder doesn't get this half century, um, he's the one at fault here. He's been given ample opportunities now to get it. So, that brings the attacking, the more attacking Jones into strike. The long on is as straight as they come. I think he's actually behind the bowler. And that should not be. Sterling Marshall hasn't picked up that. He's right behind the stumps. He's punching it into the offside. Well fielded. Can't score. So Marshall should really have a look at where that long on is. He's right behind him. Right behind the, the, the stumps. Marshall has a look, but not in that general direction. Loops it up. He's swinging at that. Back foot grounded, but he was swinging big. Change batteries. Um, a swing to leg brings up the 150 for the Navy team. So here goes. Moves in now to bowl solidly forward this time. Is um, Farrell reaching nicely for that and just pushes it into the offside. Johnson strike. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it up. He's swinging that one. Fine. They call for two early. Fielder is racing around, can't prevent the two. So two more to the total. And it's obvious that Jones, having completed his half century, is deciding to up the ante here. I think he's going to try to hit a couple more maximums. Trying to get the total to one beyond that of the Warriors. He's hitting this one straight down the ground. One bounce into the boundary for four. Crashing shot, he hit it hard. Had the room, 
and he certainly backed himself and hit it hard. Jones is hitting that one aerial. It's going down the hill. It could go all the way. Let's see. The chase is on. The ball stops. And uh, he's going back and uh, calling foul through. And uh, they get three. So three runs acquired. Jones was going aerial into the offside. now balls to bowler ball is turning it into the onside thinking of the single it's not on feel that short mid wicket comes across so he's taking a little while to get the remaining runs so complete this half century foul but he'll want to get there he's a stutty little player he's driving thinking of the run and uh, Jones was looking at him and thinking about it but in the end they decide against it Feel had to come a long way in, and the ball wasn't hit all that powerfully. But playing it safe, moves him now to bowl. He's hitting it down the ground, just short of the field. Uh, one bounce, and the return comes in. So looks as if he is thinking about giving it away here, Farrell. I think Jones is going to have a chat with him. Maybe from long distance, he's. The more experienced player, Jones, may be telling him, um, don't give it away. But that ends another over. 161 for free, 32 overs completed, 8 overs remaining. And uh, Farrell is on 45, and Jones is on 64. So Farrell just needs 5 runs, and I think once that 5 runs is acquired, um, pandemonium here at the Etiwillet Park. He's a popular little cricketer um, amongst his peers. And once he gets that half century, he will be well celebrated. Jones has gone past that. He's on 64. He too was well celebrated when he completed that half century. Now he'll be thinking about um, pummeling a few more towards the fence. He goes short and he's punching at that. Just gets the out edge. Field from point comes across, gets a return in. Um, Farrell just looked a little careless getting his bat in the crease there, looked casual. Needs to be a lot more sure than that. So, we'll be moving in now. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell. Farrell is driving. That's a lovely drive. Hard towards the man at mid-off. He goes to 46. So one more to the total. One more to Farrell. He eases up to 46. And that brings Jones into strike. His dad now is here. Maybe not having any taxi jobs at the moment. So he has come straight from a taxi job. And he has come to support his son, Amari Jones. Well, settles over his bat, of course. Um, Omari's grandfather was a well-celebrated local umpire. Did quite a... He's having a heave at that. Looking leg side. Maybe should have gone off side. So he's looking at um, leg side. And, and I think Stuart Williams is telling him, use the off side. The ball is outside the off stump. Don't try to tug everything to Cow's Corner. So... Settles over his bat once more. Bowls now. This time he's sweeping at that. He's shouting his appeal. And it has gone past the keeper. They should be getting two here. And I think that will be leg bice. Leg by signal by the umpire. Bowler was shouting his appeal. Young lady had a long run. Keeper decided not to chase. So she had to do the run from point. 
There's nobody behind here. No fine leg, no third man. So here he goes, moving in out. Ball to Jones. Yeah, loops it up. He's going over extra cover. That's what Stuart Williams was telling him. And now Stuart Williams said, beautiful. He has hit it clean over extra cover. His dad celebrates as well. His dad celebrates. So he's ecstatic. So, lovely shot. Inside out, over extra cover. And, and that's what Stuart Williams was asking him to do. When they're outside, they play to the outside. So, here he goes once more. Moving in now to ball to Jones. Jones is striking it to the outside. And it's caught. Caught, caught by young hero. So, probably playing one too many. And driving it into the offside, not going over the head on that occasion. And gets a congratulatory pat on the glove from Farrell. And there's a little bit of a break here now as Jones goes. And his dad says, good job, as he walks back. One hundred and sixty-seven for four. Deshaun James has gone to the crease. Very exciting little player from VOJN. He's pulling out of the shot belatedly. Looks as if he was going to cut and then just decided to pull out of the shot. That ends the over. Successful over for the bowler. Well, we're going to have young Farrell in strike. He still hasn't completed his half centuries yet. He's driving. No, says Farrell. James was thinking about going through. And Farrell says no. Drove that one along the ground on that occasion. Bowler moves in now to bowl. He's tugging this one into the onside. Calls for the single. And he gets home safely. So, might just be around 48, 47, 48. We'll have to verify that. And that will bring young James into strike. So, James, who batted superbly in the last um, inter-primary cricket tournament for VOGN, watches it through to the keeper. Again, pulling out of a late dab and just watching it through to the keeper. These guys play cricket for breakfast, lunch, and dinner over there at Village. And he settles over his back now. He's guiding it sweetly. That's a lovely shot. No real power into it, though. Just for the single. But it was a nice late glide. He just glided it nicely and um, played it late. Looked good. Nice finesse. Got a single, he's off the mark. So that brings Farrell back into strike. He's, he's within striking range of a half century. Well deserved too. Here goes. Comes solidly forward. He shouts his appeal. And walks away. Umpire must have been thinking height might have been the determining factor on that occasion as he was reaching for it. Seemed to have struck him. Somewhere around the waist where he's patting now, but that doesn't say much because he might just still be below the stumps. But the umpire's there. This time he's driving, he's running, he's off and running. And that might be 49. We'll have to verify that. But he's running. That ends the over. So Farrell in strike. Settles over his bat. I think he needs just about two. For a half century. Drives it past the bowler. Up to mid off. Can't score. Settles over his bat once more. Compact looking stance. Low crouch. Pats the bat vigorously into the turf as he's punching this one now. Going past one. Goes through. Maybe he's on 49. There's no eruption from the pavilion. I think he probably just needs one more for half century. 
So that brings James into strike. Settles over his bat. Compact stance as well. Bowes is swinging at that one, missing, and wide signal by the umpire. Full toss down the leg side, has a swing at that. Missed it. Settles over his bat once more. Moves in now to bowl to James Flat. He's tugging that one. And he put some power into that. It's gone for four. He dragged it down and James rocked back and pulled it over mid-wicket for four. Lovely shot. Lovely heave on that occasion. Very positive player he is. A little man, but he packs a punch, I can tell you. Hero went to retrieve the ball. He would have played a lot of cricket against this youngster in the primary school's leagues. Here he goes, bowls. This time he's solidly in line. And bowler called for the run. Good call. Because the fielder had a long way to come in. Um, James was ball watching. And um, he called him through for the single. He wants to be on strike. I think he needs one for a half century. Listen to the eruption back of us if he gets that single. And I think he's going to run for wherever it goes. He's going to run. Here he goes. He's jabbing it. No, not that one. That would be crazy. Um, jabbed it just down to the man at um, what would be like a fourth slip position. So, couldn't run for that. But I think he's looking just to pat and run. If it goes in the onside, it should be easy, Pickens. Here he goes. Settles over his bat. This could be it. He bowls. He's, he, oh, the intention is clear. Wanted to just turn it into the onside. Didn't work on that occasion. Went straight back up to the bowler. That ends the over. Well, that must have been the slightest of nicks because... Somehow it seemed as if it passed safely the past the outer edge of the bat, but must have been a very faint nick. All of the fielders went up. And the umpire, thinking about it, eventually raised the fatal the dreaded finger and he's on his way, James, driving at that and caught behind. One seventy seven for five. We have confirmed that um Farrell is ready on forty seven. So he has been kind of stuck in the forties. But um he has three overs after this one to make three runs, so he shouldn't really worry about it. Don't panic. New batsman in. Beaten, comprehensively beaten. Shouts his appeal at the umpire. Loose looking drive on that occasion. Full pitch delivery. He was driving all around it. So here goes. Moving in once more. Driving again. And again beaten. Thinking about the single is um, Farrell. But um, the field is covering quickly. Love the spirit from the Warriors. What time it is? Wicked time was the response, immediate response. Here he goes, moves in out to bowl, left alone this time. That time you can't say was driving loosely at it. He just watched it flew to the keeper. Here he goes once more. Races in out to bowl. He's punching that one, but finds the ball in the way. Stops it nicely. Can't score. So the new batsman actually is Tyler Nisbet, who actually played some cricket for the opposition team when we were here last. Now he's playing for his home team. Drives eerily. Well stopped there in the offside. Was in the air for a while. And that ends over number 37. Three overs remain.
exciting little cricketer Nicholas Hero is into the attack. Moves in out to bowl to five. Five is swinging it away. This could be his half century if it goes all the way to the boundary, and it does. What a way to bring up his half century! Farrell has picked up his half century. What a way to do it! And the eruption from the pavilion as he pulled it away. Hero was off target and he pulled him away. Gone for four. Lovely way to bring up a half century. So he's on 51 now. The score 181 for five. We're in over number 38, I think. Here goes Bowes. He's tugging it away again, but there's a man deep this time. Make that a woman. And uh, they get one. Again shot. Again pulled. But this time, feel the deep. Only one. So Hero. A little off target for Hero. Needs to get it a little straighter than that. He'll be bowling out in this bit. Settles over his bat. Bowls again. He's off target. And it's a wide. So Hero hasn't lined up as yet. And apparently he must have brushed the pad because Sterling Marshall has indicated that it's not a wide. Moves in once more to bowl. Better delivery. He's swinging into that. That's going through mid wicket. The man is chasing after it from mid on. And uh, pulls it in now. They'll get two. So two more to the total. That was a better delivery there from Hero. But I'm uh, well struck by Nisbet. Picked up two. Here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Nisbet. Nisbet is. Pulling it into the onside is uh, field deep at a uh, long on. On the arms, the return. One more to the total. So Farrell now back in strike. Moves in now to bowl to. Farrell, Farrell is driving down the ground. That's a lovely shot. Gone pass mid on. He races after it and pulls it in before it goes into the boundary. They get two. So two more runs to the total. They're going after Hero. Hero's over has proven a bit expensive here. That ends the over. Certainly jumped out on him, um, the young Hero. Offers running out. Moves in now to bowl. He's swinging into that, isn't his bit? The man at mid on comes across and they've settled for one. Very early, I thought. Maybe should have been thinking of two there. I feel they had a long way to run to pull that one in, but um, settled for one early. Here he goes. Wiry looking youngster moves in now to bowl. Farrell is oh just over the head of the man at short extra cover and they get a single. One more to the total. Here he goes, moving in once more to bowl to Nisbet. Nisbet's bold, clean bold, having a heave. And his middle stump has been disturbed. Beautifully bold. York length delivery. Make that wicket number six for Nevis. So, the bowler has picked up a couple of wickets now. And he'll be bowling to the new batsman. I think it's Gahari. Moves in out to bowl. He's on the back foot looking solid. Pushes it into the offside. He was in the way. Can't score. Would love to see Hero get another over. But when you're playing for a visiting team, you're the guest player. And you don't produce wickets in your first over. You might just not get another full toss. He's slamming it down towards long on. Well, mid on actually. And they pick up a single. Young hero just not pitching it right in that first over. Batsmen were all over him. Here's um, Farrell settling now. He's dabbing at that naughty looking shot that ends the over. 
Well, I was just about to say that it's good to see Hugh getting another over. He had actually given the umpire his cap. And I think he would have been a good way to come back. But as he was marking out his run, captain said, no, I'm going to give the left arm of the ball. So changing the bowling, he is off. The left arm medium pace is on. Somebody is um, on the side screen, which is not good. Here goes the left arm medium pacer. Moves in now to bowl. He's swinging into that, and that goes away from the fielder who has a long run, can't pull it in. It's gone for four. Positive looking shot on that occasion by Good Harry. And swung lustily into it, and it's gone for four. Coach is trying to indicate to the bowler that he has an offside field. And what a packed offside field it is. And a fourth slip point, extra cover, cover, short extra cover, mid off. He's swinging into that. That's a lovely hit down the ground. That's a lovely shot gone for. F no, it's not gone for four. They're only going to get two. The ball slows up badly. And again, Farrell looks a little lackadaisical getting that bat in. Just looks a little slow. Direct hit might have undone him there. Needs to work on that aspect of his cricket. Shoot the bat in. Don't hold it in your hand and then just drop it in. So you need to work on that. Looks a little tired too. So here's the left armor. Preparing to bowl now. Races in now to bowl. He's swinging into that. That's a nice hit again. Straight down to... The long on fielder this time stops it in the approved manner and gets one more. So they're going after him the same way they went after Hero. So just a few overs remaining and they're, they're deciding to really slam into the bowling now. So Farrell will settle. Here he goes. Moves in now to bowl to Farrell is off the edge, gone through the vacant third man position. I think it has the legs to get there. Barely does. Crosses the rope now. Gone for four. Top edge, through the vacant third man position. Gone for four. And immediately, the third man now in place. Now that the horse has literally bolted, third man in place. So Farrell settles. Now his bat, his stance doesn't look as organized. He's definitely he's just planning to swing to leg. Still a very low crouch though. Here he goes, bows. That time it's wide of the mark, not signaled wide by the umpire, left alone by the batsman. He looked up at the at the umpire. As if to say, umpire, you didn't signal wide. So, settles over his bat once more. Here he goes, Farrell. Races it. Well, Farrell taking strike, hits it in the air. Somebody's getting on there, takes the catch. And so Farrell goes, swinging big, knowing that the overs are running out. And so, his long stay at the crease has come to an end so carries Farrell aka Bolo comes back gets a pat from one of the opposition players and so he strides back and it looks as if it's young Daniel who is striding out So it's going to be Good Harry, joined by young Daniel. Settles over his back now. He's slamming it down towards mid off. They're off and running. That's an easy single. One more to the total. Daniel settles, compact looking stance. 
Yes, he moves in now to bowl to Daniel. Daniel is swinging it into the onside. That's a lovely shot. It's often going down the hill. The field is chasing after it, getting pretty close to the boundary. They should think free here, one for the throw. But they settled for two very early. Nice swing into that. There was Daniel getting off the mark in elegant fashion. Two to the total, two to his score. So here he goes, moving in once more to bowl to Daniel. Moves in now, bowls to Daniel. Daniel swings at that and trying to rush through there. He's got a hurry because the keeper didn't hold it and uh, chased after it though. And so hesitation decided to stay in the creases. Here he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl to Daniel. He's hitting it in the air. Man leaps, can't reach it. Just over his head, they get a single. Tall man he is, but he was well clear of him. He was leaping in the air, couldn't reach it. Got away with it, Daniel, got a single. So good, Harry, who has been batting very well so far. Very positive cricketer. Settles over his bat now. Somebody's asking for a big shot. He's down the track. He slams into it, but only gets to a deepish cover position. Gets a single. Premeditated. Was rushing down the track. Somebody's saying last ball, so I'm not sure if this is the final over being completed or if it's just the last ball of this particular over. We'll have to wait and see. Here he goes, moves in out to pull Daniel down the track, heaves, and has picked out the man this time. No, he leaped awkwardly on that occasion. And they're going back for the second. Might be a run out here, and Daniel can make it back. Oh, it was the last ball of the innings, and Daniel was trying to get back for the second run. And that seems to be the end of the innings, and we'll be getting back to you after the break. They'll be going for lunch as well. So we are yet to finalize the score for the Nevis team, but um, they're in the field now. And so the visiting team warriors will be chasing a target. We'll have to confirm that Bolo is keeping today, keeping wicket, Farrell. So it's Tyler Nisbet, medium paces from the part of the end, races in now, short of a length, back of a length. Fielder James comes in in the approved fashion, picks it up nicely, gets a return in, can't score. <coughs> Nisbet once more. From the bat hotel end, races in now to bowl. He's driving at that, beaten. Didn't collect it on that occasion cleanly. Bolo uh, actually dropped from his grasp, but he didn't go past him. So no run scored. And this bit it is, races in once more to bowl. That's a short delivery. Well stopped by the keeper because he got an under edge. And it was traveling. There's no slip in place. Third man is deep and Bolo grasped it quickly. Reaction was quick and good. And he grabbed it. No runs. Here goes once more. Nisbet races in now. Pulls up. Maybe just not feeling right on that occasion and decided to abort his run up. Tylon is but it is from the far end. Races in now to bowl. He's looking that so wide. Signal by Sterling Marshall. Well taken by Farrell. He goes. Smooth looking run up there. It's short and he's punching at that. The keeper doesn't hold on to it again. Farrell grabbing at it. Wide signal by the umpire. Bowler looks a little disappointed. But then again, it's a signal from the test umpire Sterling Marshall. Heidegger. You don't debate calls by Sterling Heidegger. By the look of things, it seems as if it's going to be young Jaquan Athenese to bowl the second over of this innings. Moves in, he bowls off, breaks flat and fast, pulled away into the onside, fielded nicely. 
a little bit of a mix up in communication there between the batters and he had to race back to his crease good bit of feeling there by i think it looks like the captain no it's not the captain he goes short again he's cutting that one that's a lovely looking shot nice shot on that occasion but only for one so one more to the total so athenes has been dragging it down so far flat fast and dragged down Let's see if he gets it right on this occasion. That's better, but it's wide of the mark and will be signaled wide. Fuller length, but wide of the mark on this occasion. So here goes Athenese moving in out to bowl. Beaten, comprehensively beaten. And they uh, flew for what looks like a by it's a bye he was comprehensively beaten there keeper didn't hold on to it and they went through for a run so certainly asked a lot of questions on that occasion Athenes moves in once more to bowl wide of the mark the umpire will turn he looks despairingly at the umpire there Jaquan Athenes he knows that he was wide of the mark signaled by the umpire who is going to probably have a little word with him maybe something he said umpire johnson is pointing his finger at young athenese it has to be something he said and the umpire is telling him i'm not going to tolerate that so the youngster will learn loops it up now this time he's defensively prodding it into the offside can't score So once you see Johnson pointing his finger at the youngster, he was chastising him. Here he goes, both flatter, and he's turning at that. The keeper again doesn't hold on to it. It's another wide. Come on, Jaquan is the call from his teammate. Here he goes. That's a better delivery. He came down late on it and kept it out was direct on stumps on that occasion and the dot ball in the scorer's book so here he goes once more moves in now to bowl he's cutting at that beaten well taken on that occasion by Farrell behind the stumps that ends the over well it's gonna be Nisbet and he'll be moving in now to bowl Races in now, balls uh, would be signaled wide. Just drifting away down the leg side, aiming for that York length delivery, and just drifting off target. Let's get once more. Races in now to bowl. Cuts this one into the offside. Quick movement there by Jones. Picks it up on the run. Can't score. Left alone outside the off stump. Just watched it through to the keeper. Well taken by Farrell. Here he goes. Nisbet from the batter to then bolts. He's punching this one back up the strip to the bowler. Well stopped. Can't score. He goes once more. Nisbet now races into bowl. He's driving, beaten outside the offside. Well taken by the keeper. Belated appeal by Farrell. But that was a loose shot on that occasion. He saw the width and he was driving at it hard. And just drove inside of it. Well taken by the keeper. Well, we have an extra fielder on. Good delivery. Back of a length played into the offside. Can't score. So Nevis apparently asking for an emergency fielder. Or maybe one of the players owns this dog. So are we going to have a break in the game here? Somebody's calling it. So obviously the owner is somewhere up there. So 
so play wasn't held up too long. So here goes Elizabeth. Bowles is edging and going wide of the keeper who was diving away to his right and just couldn't pull it in. It would have been a fabulous catch had he pulled that one in. Um, Farrell, but it was away from him. He was diving across one handed and just couldn't pull it in. One run to the total. So it's going to be Athenes. Moving in once more to bowl. Show to the keeper who apparently allowed it to hit his pads. The owner still having some problems. Or is the owner on the field? I believe the owner of that dog is on the field, the way he's operating. So they're having a little problem chasing it off. I think he's having his own fun, really. Seems to be enjoying the moment in the sun Four goals now goals he's punching this one nice into the offside they should get at least two here and they're gonna get two oh mix up there between the the batters and um probably fortunately turning back he was already halfway up the pitch the other batsman was not interested and the return came in they got one. That was Jaden Brown getting the return in. Here he goes. Bowles. He's tugging at that one. Goes away. F I believe it might go all the way for four. No, it has pulled up. The outfield is very slow indeed. The outfield is very slow. At call appeal there for a run out. But um, he's home for two. Marshall already doing his repair duties, running back to square leg. Turns it into the onside. Field is in quickly, can't score. Athenaeus it is, moves in now to bowl, loops it up. He's driving, nice looking shot, little bend of the knee. And stroked it nice into the offside, but can't score. So he's Athenes. Moves in now to bowl. He's on the back foot. Just plays it solidly into the offside. Defending stoutly. And that ends the over. When they were fielding, the Warriors had a chant, what time it is? And the, what time is it? And the response was wicked time. Now the chant goes up, what time it is? Or what time is it? And they say boundary time. So they know what to say when. Does not necessarily work that way. But it's all about encouragement. Nisbet continues from the Bath at end. Moves in now. Bose is driving deliberately over mid-off. And it's going to run pretty close to the boundary. But has it gone? I think it has gone. Loud cheers here from the supporters in the pavilion. That was a lovely shot, deliberately played. He knew that mid-off was up, and he held his pose as it went over the head of the captain into the boundary for four. Here he goes once more, moves in out to bowl. This time he's solidly defending, pushing it into the offside. Can't score. goes once more. Nisbet moves and this time he's turning at it. Two fielders racing across. Brown gets to it quickly. Gets the return in. And it's a wide. So make that two more to the total. Here's Nisbet. Races in now to bowl. Left alone outside the often wide signal by the umpire. He goes once more. Nisbet Bowles is solidly forward. Mm -hmm. Looking lovely in defense. Just on the front foot. And just pushes it out easily into the offside. 
Here he goes. Nesbitt moves in now to bowl. He's cutting at this one. That's a lovely shot. Going down the hill. Chasing after it is Prentice. Gets there just about now. And they get two. I think the supporters there for the Warriors disappointed that it's only two. It was a lovely shot. Played it late. And here he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. Left alone. Good delivery that. And well left too. Here he goes once more. Races in now to bowl. He's off the edge, but away from the keeper. Maybe they should put a slip in place. And it goes down to third man. Prentice picks it up. One more to the total. Here he goes. Bowls and uh, swinging at that. Came off something. They have decided against looking for the run. Um, oh, it came off nothing. Or did it? The umpire is talking to Athenes for the second time. And signals wide now and is chastising Athenes again. Seems to be having a problem with the umpire here, Athenes. Maybe it's something he's saying. And the umpire is holding up the game because of that. So the umpire has had his say. Athenes will proceed. Moves in out to bowl, and not a wide, I believe. And Athenes almost looks frustrated here as the umpire signals wide. So he's having a tough time out there, and the umpire is making sure that he stays in his lane. We have a bit of a water break, quick water break for the players. alone outside the office. He's in out to bowl. That's a lovely looking shot. Nice bend of the knee. And Light Brown comes across, picks it up, gets the return in. One more to the total. He goes, moves in out to bowl. Shot outside the office. I'm hitting the air. Fielder comes in, James, and they get a single. It was in the air for a while. 29 without loss of score, left alone. So here he goes once more. Moves in out to bowl. He's driving in the air, but away from the fielder. Chases after it, does James. And uh, get into it more quickly is um, Jones. And they get a single. But he was in the air for a long time again on that occasion. But away from the fielder. Is your video live? No, okay. You post it later. Here he goes once more, moves in out to bowl. He's solidly forward on this occasion, playing it along the ground, out to a short extra cover, can't score. So chasing a target of 208 for victory. They're off to a pretty good start. 29 for no loss, and some seven overs completed. Looks as if um, Jones had a quick word with um, Athenes. And it would appear as if the umpire didn't really approve of that conversation. He had a word with Jones as well, umpire Johnson. Here he goes, Bolts, and he's beaten a bold. Is it bold or he's gone? Maybe LBW then. Athenese was celebrating a long time. Umpire Johnson put up the dreaded finger and he's gone. So wicked for Athenes celebrates. So it's going to be 
Athenaeus will continue from the pavilion end. And will be bowling to the new batsman, a left hander. I think I think he was the one who was wicket keeping. Powerfully built guy. Might be able to hit a pretty long ball too. Athenes with his tail up now would be moving into bowl, thinking he can pick up another. Bowls, loops it up, he's driving. Back up the strip to the bowler. Certainly loop that one for starters. And uh, seems as if he would have made amends and made peace with the umpire. Moves in now to bowl. Good delivery. A little turn on that one as well. The batsman is solidly forward. Plays it back up the strip to the bowler. Athene is looking busy, a little um, pep in his step now. As he moves in once more to bowl, flatter, faster. Good variation there. Pushed firmly into the offside though. Batsman negotiating well. Well fielded, can't score. So, here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. That's a good delivery. Pushed hard at it once more. Well fielded. Good, smart fielding in the offside. That looks like Jones getting it in quickly. So no runs. So here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. That's a good delivery but flicked away into the onside. Looking for the run. He might be in trouble. No, the return comes to the keeper's end. And backed up, and um, he was running at that time. The, the batsman is being told by the coach that um, the call was the non-striker's call because it was behind him, and he refused to run. That ends the over. Well, the captain, Light Brown, was picked up a couple of wickets in this tournament so far. He's into the attack. Bowls his first delivery, tucked into the onside. Well stopped there. Good movement there by, that looks like Athenaeus. It was dragged down, it was short, it was tugged hard. But it was well fielded there by Athenaeus. So it's going to be Brown once more, the captain of this under-16 team. Being watched closely by his mom. Beaten! Off the edge. And uh, really should have been looking for a single there. Prentice throws it to nobody in particular. And I think they may well do it a slip. We have seen a couple of edges. Coaches yelling at them. Not too impressed with what just happened there. Here goes once more. Light brown balls. He's down the track. Hits it firmly towards long on. Two fielders after it. Athenese might just get there first. And they've gone for the second. Are they going to threaten for the third? No. They decide against it. It's a strong return for Athenaeus. Two more to the total. Here goes. Ball sweeping at that. Farrell comes across. Doesn't pull it in. Wide signal by the umpire. Brown moves in once more, bowls outside the off stump. He jabs down on it, pushes it into the onside, can't score. So it's going to be light brown once more. Moves in now to bowl. He's tugging this in, in the air. Athenaeus is coming in, but he can't get to it. And uh, they didn't cross for the run either. Um, it seems as if the big man at the far end, he won't be running too many sharp singles. So he, I guess, would be the power hitter. He'll have to be scoring boundaries. And um, they won't be running through 12 for any sharp singles. It's like batting with Sterling Marshall. Don't expect too many sharp singles. Expect a lot of sixes and fours, though. Here goes now, moves in out to bowl. Flatter, fast outside the off, some left alone. It's a long over. So it seems to be a pretty long over here. Wow. 
so here goes once more light brown moves in out ball flat and turned into the onside well fielded by Athenaeus trying to throw it before he actually had it in control but in the end gets a return in that ends the over so young Daniel comes into the attack I think his mom is also behind us having a close look at him so it's good to see the moms and the dads in, on some occasions are uh, here so here's Daniel very good wrist spinner Bows outside the off stump, left alone, and the umpire will signal wide. He has had a lot of exercise, Eustace Johnson. So, the left hand in strike. Daniel can spin it, Daniel can loop it as well. As he moves in now to bowl flatter, he's punching it into the offside, thinking of the run. He's not the quickest, but he gets home. Backed up here. That time he decided to run through. Not the quickest really between the creases, but he got there safely. <laughs> so the right hand in strike now. Daniel moves in to bowl flat and he's tugging it into the onside dives. Is that a catch or is that a catch? Well, it looks as if the catch has been denied, but he was diving forward and may have picked it up on the bounce. And uh, that has been denied, I think. I think it was Tylo Nisbet. He has been a live boy in the field. If they're going to pick a, a field, <laughs> if, they were, if they were to do a... a field of the tournament it would have to be Tyler Nisbet he has been superb here goes once more moves in now to bowl loops and now he's quietly forward reaching a long way for that one pushes it quietly into the offside I think Nisbet was claiming the catch but he was right alongside Sterling Marshall and Sterling decides no comes quietly forward Pushes it up into the offside, can't score. Here he goes once more, moves it now, loops it now. He's driving, gets it to the right of the field as short mid wicket, can't score. So it's going to be Daniel once more. Searching here, he moves in out to bow, loops it, loops it, really loops it. He punches it down the ground. Prentice comes across, and batsmen get through for the single pretty easily in the end. Ends the over 36 for the loss of one, 10 overs completed, chasing 208 for victory. Light brown it is in his second over. Bowls. Guides it. That's a deliberate shot. But the big man is saying no. The big man says, I'm not going to run for that. But it was well guided. And I think finally, I think they're finally putting a slip in place. Finally putting a slip in place. So. Maybe a little too close. Yes, he backs off a little. So, slip finally in place. It's going to be Brown. Moving in now to bowl. He's driving smoothly. Picks out the short extra cover. Can't score. He goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. Brown bowl. He's driving in there. Somebody. Somebody's getting on there. Almost a collision there. But the catch is taken, light brown has struck, wicket number two, loose shot, head in the air, and not in control at all. And so, two wickets gone now. That was a poor shot. And uh, probably my favorite cricketer. 
going out. I mean, he has been a little live wire. I understand that he plays very straight. So the Nevis team celebrating the second wicket. So the little man in strength, Brown bowls him. He comes solidly forward, picture perfect. I've been told that he just plays straight and plays well. Might not be the big hitter, but he's going to play straight and well. Here's Brown bowling now. He's turning it into the onside. Can't score. Flatter, faster delivery. Trying to catch him by surprise. So Brown coming over the wicket. Punches it into the offside. He gets his first run. Return comes in. But I'm um, well taken there. Punching it into the offside. Off and running. Ends the over. So the little man in strike. Settles over his back now. It's going to be Daniel. Bowles is standing up straight as that one made some height. A little bounce there for Daniel. Handles it well, the little man. Pushes it into the offside. Can't score. So it's going to be Daniel. Moving in now to bowl. Loops it. He's driving smoothly. Daniel goes across and stops it well. But look at this shot. He's right into the shot. Body movement really picture perfect as he just drove it pleasantly. Like I say, he doesn't have a lot of power, but just look at the little man bat. Here he goes, bows, loops it up. He's beaten this time. That one spun away from him, and he was driving a little loosely on that occasion. Got the edge and went away down to short third. Maybe they should have a slip in place once more. That short third man. A little distance away. Well, I think they have done that now. Back in the slip position is Jones. Daniel it is. Stopped by the umpire. Here's Daniel. Moves in now to ball. Flatter is punching it. He was in the air for a short little bit. And yeah, I'm not totally in control there. Daniel gets in a bit of an uncomfortable bounce. The youngster is not the tallest of the f um, the batters on the team. So here goes once more. Bows loops it up this time. He's on the back foot, squeezes it out. Going back, dangerously so, but kept it out. Kept his eyes on it. So, seems to have um, real confidence in his ability. So moves in once more, Daniel Bows. He's pulling this one. It's away from the man, just away from him at mid-wicket. And they get an easy single, thinking of the second. But um, the big man is not going to risk that. So one more to the total. So that ends the over. It's light brown now. Balls to the batsman, solidly forward. And, and and the reach, the the way he plays that defensive shot. I mean, this is somebody you can work with. Settles once more. Brown goes. He's driving again. Smooth looking. Flowing movement with the bat. And looks in control. Not a lot of power. Well fielded by James. In that short extra cover position. He settles once more. Here he goes, balls. This time he's turning it into the onside, thinking about the single it's not on. One day if you're looking at Virat Kohli's third cousin here. Very correct in his stroke play. He's reaching again, but can't get past James. But again, look at the reach. Get into the pitch and stroking it nicely. Can't score. Ball 
goes now. Left alone, you'll have to say, well left. It was flat and fast. It was shaving the off stump. He picked it, raised the bat, and allowed it to go through. Well taken by the keeper. So maybe because of his lack of strength, should more think about rotating the strike. I think the big man can hit it a mile. He's driving at that. And they're off and running. Gets home. So that ends the over. It's going to be Daniel moving in now to bowl. Punches it into the outside. Daniel comes across, picks up on the run. Well, that looks like Brown, sorry. Light Brown, the captain. So it's Daniel is the bowler. Moves in once more to bowl. Well, that's a white. Has to be a white. Well, the umpire says no. Known by the batsman. He goes once more. Bowls. He's carving that one away. Well stopped. Well stopped by James. Paddling it really. It was in there for a while, but James pulled it in nicely. The back of the square. Is Daniel ball flatter, faster? He's solidly in line, just pushes it easily into the offside, and um, they're almost straight away, backed up by James. He goes once more. Daniel ball loops it up. He's on driving, and they're getting an easy single. Prentice rushes in, can't prevent the single. So as we made a change, different camera and all, light brown it is, moving in now to bowl to the big man he heaves, oh that's a big heave, and uh, the ball is slowing up but it has crashed into the boundary for four, so shot in anger and took it on the full and heaved it over towards long on into the boundary for four. We understand the name is Allian. So Allian takes strike now from Brown. Here he is. This time he punches it. Brown cannot stop it. They're thinking of the single. The little man was in. Direct hit could have been interesting. That ends the over. So it's going to be Daniel. And he proceeds from the pavilion end. Little hop and a skip as he moves in now to bowl. Punching it into the offside, asking for the single. The big man says no. Not going to get too many singles from the big man. And so they're trying to probably they wrong it. Big man is not going to do too much running. He's going to hit the ball hard. He's going to hit it far. Here's Daniel moving in once more to bowl. Loops it up. He's beaten on that occasion. Goes... The big man now is looking for the run. That's interesting, but he gets back. Loops it up now. He's driving. Off and running. This time the big man went through. A little bit of a misfield, and so they got home safely. So, some miscommunication between the two. Sometimes the big man doesn't seem as if he's going to run. And then the next time he comes charging through. They'll need to talk about it. Here's Daniel. Characteristic hop and the skip. This time he goes back on the back foot and just pushes it defensively up on the offside. Can't score. Here he goes once more. Moves in now, loops it. He's going for the big heave. 
down towards um, Prentice who feels it well. Can't score. Looks as if he wants to go long. So, it's going to be Daniel. Not afraid to loop. Moves in once more to bowl. This time he's on the back foot playing tentatively. Pushes it into the offside cautiously. Can't score. Ends the over. Coaches advising the young batsman to take a single. Let the big man get on strike. His light brown balls. He's cutting at that a little loose on that occasion. But um, he's watching um, the fact that any area between backward point and third man pretty vacant running down the hill could be a boundary so it's going to be brown the light variety moving in now to bowl to he's cutting again that one made some height discomforting kind of height too he was cutting under it well taken that time by the keeper Farrell. Brown got some advice from Tyler Nisbet. He has decided to go around the wicket. Here he goes now, moves in now to go. He's cutting at that one. That's a lovely shot. That's the shot he was looking for earlier. But he'll only get one. Big man was down in a hurry. So one more to the total. Right now, he has already shown that he could hit it far. Brown settles, loops it up, he's pushing it into the upside, off and running, misfielded. So, applying pressure and running through. So, when he wants to run, he can run, he hustles through and got the single easily. Brings the youngster, the man back in strike. He's pulling that one. That's a lovely shot. It might go all the way. No, it's not. He's pulling up. And they're going to get two. But that was a lovely shot. Latched onto it well. Very sluggish outfield indeed. And if they were given um, boundaries for shots, that would have been a certain four. It is moves in out to bowl left alone outside the off stump, and that ends the over. Looks as if they're gonna have a bit of a water break, so it's a water break at this point. Well, we had a bit of a water break, the score is 50 for the loss of two 17 overs completed. <coughs> Remember, they're chasing 208 for victory. Nice school conditions here now at the Eatwood Park. You get the impression this match might well finish on the lights if the bat flow. He is looping now to beaten! Belated attempt to stump there by, by Farrell. And the batsman was able to get back in his crease. So Daniel had him beaten through the air. He was comprehensively beaten. He was dragged out of his crease just for a moment. Farrell made a late bit to whip off the bills. He was back in. He goes once more, loops it once more. This time he's more tentative. Pushing quietly forward. Back up the strip to the bowler. So here he goes once more. Daniel. Now to bowl, loops it. He's going big over the head of the short extra cover. Quickly across, thinking of the second. They're going back now. A little bit of a misfield. Probably over exuberance there on the part of Jones. Or oh, is that Nisbet? So 
So Nisbet, who is really quick in the outfield and smart fielder, probably moving too quickly on that occasion, taking his eye off the ball. They got two in the end. So it's going to be Daniel. Now out the ball. He's slapping it into the upside. Well fielded there. That looks like Jones. Feeling well. Gets a return into Daniel. So Daniel being watched now by his mom, his dad, and his brothers. Moves in now to ball. Loops it. Really loops it. Hits it. Just short of the fielder. That's good work there by Jaden. Brown gets the return in. Batsman was able to get in though. Good work by Brown. So we expect to see Brown into the attack and maybe Prentice as well getting the ball and good Harry. Lots of bowlers in this team. Moves in now. Flatter. Well punched into the offside, smooth rhythm, make um, kind of pushed into the offside. Picture perfect looking shot by the youngster. Can't score though. Matter of fact, it looks as if Jaden Brown is into the attack now. Loops it, takes it full on the bat and heaves it over extra cover. They're going to get one and they're thinking of the second, back for the second. It was a full toss. And he just punched it. It was in the air for a while. Lightbound thought he was in for something early, but it was away from him and they got two. So it's going to be Jaden Brown. Even in the big leagues here on Nevis, he normally picks up wickets. Moves in now to bowl. Loops it now. The big man is driving, looking for the single. And then realizes that, um, no, it's a dangerous call on that occasion. And can't score. So, Jaden Brown it is. And he'll be bowling to the left hander. He goes, moves in now to bowl this time. That one little bounce and turn. The batsman carefully pushes it on the offside. Brown comes across, feels his own bowling. So, the big left-hander trying to make sure that his team gets to the target settles over his back now he's going high hard and not handsome he's caught caught at long off well caught too good movements there good catch Jaden brown has picked up a crucial wicket is that athenes it was good movement there by the fielder and i think he was athenes and so the big man goes, caught at long off, floated up. He went for the big heave and good catch taken at long off. New man in. So it's going to be Jaden Brown. Ball into another left-hander. Here's Brown. Loops in now. Loops it. He's on the back foot. Pushes it into the offside, can't score. So, he goes once more, moves in now to ball, loops it again. He's looking to drive and then pulls out of it, realizing that it was really wide of the mark, signaled by Sterling Heiliger. Loops in once more, balls, loops it, that's good loop, that's bounce as well, well taken by Farrell who applauds the delivery, that ends the over. So Krishna Girl Hari is into the attack, he's shown that he's a well-rounded cricketer, bats very well, feels very well, and is primarily a bowler for now, bowling all around him maybe. 
but I think his batting can develop even further. Really positive as a cricketer. Here he goes, moves in now to bowl. Youngster is pushing it, thinking of the single. I think he might have more singles now. Big man wasn't too keen on running. When he did run though, he looked pretty quick. But um, I think he preferred to hit than run. So here's Gert Harry. Swinging, lofting it. Over backward of square. The ball is going to slow up as usual in this outfield. Surprisingly, they only get one. So, the new man, the new batsman is in. Taking the strike, left hander. Always back now. Driving, loose the not held on to by the keeper, Farrell. Here is Krishna once more from the pavilion end. Moves in now to ball. He's swinging at that, struck on the pad. The umpire's unimpressed. There's a swing at that. He really swung lustily at that one. Umpire Eustace Johnson has unmoved as Mount Nevis. As he prepares to bowl once more. Krishna moves in now to bowl. The batsman again is swinging. That's a wide goes past the keeper. And they will get an extra run as well. So two wise. The umpire will signal just about now. Well, there's no... Yes, there's a signal. So the right hand in strike. And that normally forces the field to make changes. Right and left combination normally poses a problem for the fielding team. Here's Krishna Bowles. He's driving pleasantly into the offside. Athens is quick. Picks it up on the run. Can't score. Ends the over. So, Jalen Brown it is. Bowles. He's driving. Down to where that offer. Oh, misfielded there. Not picked up cleanly by Athens. It was going to be a challenge. Batsman was running and has played the shot, but he would have been close had he picked it up. So, Jaden Brown it is. We will continue. So now to go shorter. He's punching it. That's a lovely punch down towards mid off. Can't score though. Traveling too quickly to think about the single. He was dragging it down on that occasion. So, here he goes. Moves in out to bowl. Cutting at that, well taken by the keeper, even though there was a slight bubble. But then he held on to it. Loose looking shot by the batsman. Well taken by the keeper. once more ball loops it there he's driving but well fielded there by Nisbet so encouragement coming from the fielders for Brown so moves in once more to ball well pitched but well guided and often running for the single two fielders colliding Single is on. And um, I think Marshall is indicating that the batsman is running down that danger area on the pitch.
So the left and the back end strike. Here's Brown. Pulling him out to go. Loop says he's down the track. He's, he's... Well, he was down the track and he was beaten in flight. I think it struck him on the pad. There was an appeal, but um, not out, says the umpire, but he was comprehensively um, bamboozled on that occasion. Good flight. He was beaten in flight there. So, good how it is. White signal by the umpire. Something went wrong with that delivery. Here he goes now. Moves into ball. Latched away. Didn't pull it in. They should get at least two here. And going back now for the second. The umpire is on move. On phase, there's Sterling Marshall. The return came in. So, here's Girl Harry. Moves in now to bowl. He's driving in the air, but just short of the fielder who stops it. But he was driving, he was. And yeah, shot in anger really and it was in the air the little man trying to be, play some big shots now he goes full toss he's swinging in the air should be out easily caught no ball signal no ball for height so he, the little man doesn't have a lot to be in terms of a, a, a In terms of uh, full toss for height, he doesn't have to go too high. Even if it's stump height, it's going to be kind of over wayside for this little man. So it's a no ball and a free hit. He's swinging at that. It's a wide. Free hit still in place as the umpire. Chris now moving in out to bowl. Better delivery off the edge down towards the short third man. Powerful return comes in from Athenes. Keeper doesn't hold on to it but stops it partially. Can't score. So here he goes now. Moves in to bowl. He's trying to paddle. Misses a shot, good work there by, that looks like Athenae's quick return in. So we have a couple, of, uh, is that Aiden Williams? Quick work though, and we got around there quickly, so we have a couple of live wires in the field. And that's good to see that the fielding is doing pretty well. Guys okay, sit nicely, can't score. So the run rate certainly, the asking rate is increasing by the overs. There he goes, moves in out the ball. He's driving at that loosely, beaten to the keeper. But doesn't really grasp it. Krishna once more. Moves in now to bowl. Outside the up, somebody's cutting that one, but well fielded. That looks like Jones. That ends the over. So it's going to be Jaden Brown from the bat to the end. Last over, the left hander missed one as he raced down the track. Fortunately, his pads got in the way. Is Brown loops it down the track. He hits it hard towards mid wicket. And 
not filled it cleanly initially, but I'm only a single. So the left hander showing some intent. Seems as if he is willing to go hard. Is Jaden Brown both he's driving smoothly as a youngster? He's looking for the single. And oh badly misfielded there by Daniel. And so they get the run in the end. So it's gonna be Jaden Brown from the bat hotel and loops it once down the track he goes hits it hard Brown got in the way but that was hit hard has a little bit of a hop into that now because he hit him on the foot and I think Marshall is asking him if he's okay he goes down for the count because that was hit hard walking a little gingerly there but that was hit hard you can see the ball is under some duress there. So Jaden Brown is coming off and Stuart Williams has gone with some ice. So he's going to apply some ice to that um, foot. It was really struck hard. Somehow we got the foot in the way. Athenese is going to finish the over, flat and fast, he's pushing it into the offside, coming across quickly, there's the fielder, can't score. So, here he goes, ball short again, this time he's on the back foot, pushes it into the offside, can't score. I think he would be happier to bowl from that end. Um, Athenese, for obvious reasons, he's away from Eustace Johnson. He loops it now, he's down the track, but hits it back to the ball. Uh, Sterling Marshall negates the appeal, does he? Athenese, he's out. He was out of his crease, the youngster, and what a way to go. He was hit hard back to Athenese. He took it and threw the ball back at all oh, he's not out he's just coming down to have a chat so well he's not out so stumps was broken and he just came down to have a chat and it's gonna be young Prentice into the attack he would have played for Jets and we know his ability. He can bowl, he can bat, he can feel. He would have been one of the stars for the VOJ and primary school team in the tournament earlier this year. Bowls now to bowl him! First ball up! The youngster was on the back foot. It was flat, it was fast, it was curling back into him. And he was on the back foot. Wrong pick. And bowled. Beautiful delivery that. And this youngster who plays so correctly, he was on the back foot. It was a wrong pick on that occasion. Should have been on the front foot, but it was beautifully bold. Pushed through and curling back in onto the stumps. It was comprehensively undone. So, Prentice has started off. But it's a dream start for any bowler. First ball up, beautifully bowled and clean bowled the batsman who seemed pretty well set, well organized and all. Just didn't negotiate, mostly now to bowl. He's punching that one, he looks in control. 
and uh, they'll get an easy single. So he's immediately off the mark, punching it. Looks accomplished. Gets a single. So, gonna be Prentice once more. Moves the note four flat and churning away. Outside the off stump, looks back anxiously at the umpire. Umpire Johnson is saying, No, that's not a wide. And the batsmen have a quick talk. Maybe the non striker spotted something that he needed to warn the striker about. So, Prentice it is, moves in now to he's driving. That's powerfully struck. That's gone for four. That's a lovely shot. Took it on the full. And he drove it. Prentice just couldn't get down enough quickly enough to stop it. And he was hit powerfully and straight. Gone for four. One of the better shots we have seen for the day. So let's see the comeback delivery here. Oops, they know to be down the track again. And that was better pitched. Almost made it into a Yorker. But he got it out nonetheless. And it's hit down the track to mid off. Can't score. Mid off now going back a little further. Closer to the boundary. He's stroking it, looks in control. Nice smooth shot on that occasion. Reaching to the pitch of the delivery and stroking it nicely. Picking up a single. Ends the over. So good. How it is. Who goes from the part hotel and now? Balls. He's watching that one spinning away from him. That was well bowled. Asking some serious questions. The batsman pulled out of it. Settles once more. Krishna got a hurry. Moves in now to bowl. Full up his delivery. He's driving. He gets across quickly. Gets a hand to it. Half stops it. Mid off comes in. Cleans up. Can't score. Can watch the youngster and see that he is very knowledgeable about this game of cricket. Loves to play too. He's driving, beaten. Stumps being shadowed there by Farrell. Batsman is within his crease. So here he goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. He's getting it on the full. Flicks it sweetly. Nice wrist work into the onside. And they can only get one because that looks like the fleet-footed Tyler Nisbet. The best fielder in this tournament, without a doubt. He was across there quickly. Picking it up on the run. One run to the total. So that brings the right hand into strike. And he has started off impressively. Out shout and Sterling Heiliger Marshall Marshall Heiliger he's not impressed yeah it's Krishna once more balls he's bold naughty shot I think he was trying to paddle it and uh, Krishna has picked out the leg stump it was a naughty shot Instead of the full-blooded sweep, he tried to be fancy, tried to be cute and left his leg stump exposed and Krishna has knocked, out his le knocked back his leg stump, so crucial wicket there for Nevis. So 76 for 5, 26 overs completed, Prentice it is, 
and out. That's a good delivery. Shock in the air. Daniel is hustling. It jumps short of him. They'll get a single. So one more to the total. So 77 now. We're in over number 27. 77 for 5. Another left hander has replaced the right hander who just got out. So two left handers now at the crease. So it's going to be Prentice. Ball him! Middle stump! Should have been on the front foot, he was on the back foot and he was bowled all over the shop. Poor shot selection on that occasion. On the back foot, bowled, middle stump. He was totally at sea there. And it looks like the young hero has gone out to bat. He is the um, You know he's going to get some heckling from his nearest friends that played against him, with him, and all that here in the local league. So young hero now will get some pressure from his former teammates, the Nivijan teammates. But he is replacing the batsman who just got out. And we can kind of fancy this little battle here because Prentice would have had many battles with um, young hero in the primary school competition. So not too long time ago, earlier this year. And so, they will be certainly trying to outdo each other here. Hero will be looking to get the better of Prentice. Prentice will be looking to get the better of Hero. Here goes. Moves in now to bowl to Hero. Here's punching it into the outside. Finds them at the point. Can't score. Positive shot for starters. He's a very positive little cricketer, I can tell you, young hero. So it's going to be Prentice once more. He's tugging that one into the inside, but picks out the man at square leg, and the return comes in quickly. Can't score. It was a rank long hop, though. Not put away. When you get those, you need to put them away. So he bowls right-handed, bats left-handed, hero. Prentice it is, moves in now to bowl. He hit bowled! He's comprehensively bowled, is he? No, it went through to the keeper. So I think the keeper took off the bells or the bells. No, he was beaten, just beaten. For a moment, I thought he was bold. Moves in once more. This time, he's tugging at that. Another rank long hop. And he tugged at it, missed the shot. Or oh, may have come off something. There's no white signal. And that ends the over. An eventful over. Another wicket for Prentice. Krishna Gradhari bowls. Turning at that. And a white signal by the umpire. So it's going to be Krishna moving in out to bowl to the batsman. Beaten, <laughs> missed stump. Well, he's appealing, but that should have been a stumping opportunity there. Bowler is appealing, but he should have been more concerned about whipping off the bales. So that's a stumping opportunity going to beg in there. And once more, he's down the track. He hits it hard, but he has picked out the man at long on. He's gone. He hit it hard, but he has picked out the man at long on. 
It was a powerfully struck shot, but well caught out there. So that's another wicket gone, and the young female goes out to bat. Krishna now bowls. He's driving. She's driving. That's a lovely looking shot. She looks smooth. Correct. Nice looking approach. Drove it nicely. Settles once more. Moves it now to bowl. Turns it nicely into the outside. Off and running. He was struggling to get in surprisingly. Always seems so very alert, but he seems to be struggling on that occasion. Settles over his bat now. Hero. He steers it. His feet though seem to be planted. Didn't seem to be making any movement. Just planted his feet. The bat was making movement, made contact too, but foot movement was lacking on that occasion. There he goes once more, moves in out to bowl to Hero. Hero is off the edge. Daniel comes across, there's a bit of football, but they're off for the single. One more to the total. Krishna once more, this time to bowl to the young lady, settles. She's trying to turn at that, that might be a wide. No, probably came off the pad, so that ends the over. So it's going to be Prentice, and he'll be bowling now to the left-handed hero. Can he be a hero for the visiting team? Oh, that's a poor shot. And went through the keeper. And certainly not held on there by Farrell. And it's a bye, but he was comprehensively beaten there by... Apprentice, good delivery once more. So, the right-handed young lady is in strike. I'm sure Apprentice would be fancying his chances of picking up a wicket here. She would have other ideas. Pushes it in the air. It was in there for a bit. And uh, Fiona was charging in, but it was well short of him. She wasn't in control on that occasion. No bend of the wrist, of the elbow, sorry. And here goes once more. Moves in now to bowl. That's a wide, losing the script. And um, Farrell trying to run out as she was taking a bit of time to get back in her crease. Sterling Heiliger is not impressed. So, it's going to be Prentice, moves in now to bowl, she's on the back foot solidly, keeps it out. Some of the boys didn't handle that as well, she did that superbly. Moves in once more to bowl, full of pitch delivery, she drives off the outer edge, going down to the Vacant backward of point position, thinking of the second, but he had long gone past the stumps and not looking back. So one more to the total. So, Prentice just needs to be consistent. Land in those good areas more regularly. Here goes, flatter, wide, not taken by the keeper once more. Grabbing at it was um, Farrell. White signal by the umpire. Prentice moves in now to bowl. There's a loud shout. The umpire sends him on his way. His back foot was planted in front of the stumps. And Prentice goes and gives him the send off. They're very competitive. And from the primary school days, 
So Prentice went up and gave him the official send-off. So Hero swinging with his back leg planted in front of his middle stump. And so celebrations, Prentice has picked up his third wicket. And the Warriors in a hole here at the ETW. So new battle in. Prentice will continue from the pavilion end. He didn't get to bat today, but he has certainly made use of the opportunity to bowl. Oh my goodness, that went past everybody and everything. Comprehensively beaten again, Farrell. Not holding on to it, another bye. And that officially ends the over. Chris Knight is, balls, good delivery, but turned into the onside. No real confidence. It um, was like turning cornmeal on that occasion. Finesse wasn't there. So, here goes. Moves in out. Ball, full of pitch delivery, driving at that. Goes past the keeper. Prentice races across. They'll get one. They're thinking of the second. Again, doesn't hold it. Doesn't hold it. The ball again does um, Farrell. Okay. So, it's going to be Krishna once more. Let's say no to ball. Turns it into the onside, the young lady. Nice wrist work on that occasion. Can't score. Seems to be a very positive young cricketer. He goes once more, moves in out to ball. Ball pitch delivers is driving solidly down towards mid off. Can't score. And once more to ball pushes it into the offside, can't score. And at cover point comes in, picks it up. Settles on his bat once more. Looks in now to ball. She's driving. This time a shot in anger, but um, goes through. And then deciding not to run on the misfield, and especially knowing that it looks like Tyler Nisbet, the live wire in the field, decided against running. But that was powerfully struck. Nice to hit, too. So, boys don't like to be hit around by girls. But she's really batting well. She's handling it well out there. Pushes it into the offside, can't score. And the over. It's going to be Prentice to continue from the pavilion end. Moves in now to bowl. Solidly on the back foot. And you get the impression as if these two are saying, well, if we can't make the total, we will battle the overs. It seems to be um, the modus operandi right now. Here goes, bowls on the back foot again. Farrell doesn't grab onto it. In his glove and out. So Prentice it is. Moves in once more. Down the track he comes, strokes it nicely. Athenaeus feels it, threatens to throw down the stumps. So it's going to be Prentice. Down the track this time, Bolo is pulling off a stumping. He thinks he has it, but the umpire Sterling Marshall Heiliger 
is as unmoved as um, Mount Everest, really. But that time he looked a bit fancy there. Um, um, Farrell whipped off the bales, but the umpire not impressed. Prentice once more, balls. From the track this time, he sticks the bat in front of him, keeps it out well. Prentice looking a little disappointed, he was well aimed on that occasion. So, it goes once more, moves in now to bowl, he's stroking it again. Out to Athenes, fields it one handed, can't score in the over. First ball up for a new over from Krishna. And ball played quietly forward into the onside. Moves in once more to bowl. Gets a full toss, punches it hard, but well stopped by James. She really wound up for the big shot on that occasion. Shot in anger. Full toss, not put away though, well fielded. Settles once more. Moves in out to bowl. Bold! Played right around it as she bowled. Or LB, I'm not sure, but um, she played right around it. She seems to be a bit annoyed as she storms away. But she seems to have played around it. Let's see if the bales are removed. Looks as if um, she was sent LBW. And I could tell you something about this LBW thing. Sterling Marshall, the umpire has never been out LBW. Every time that he's given out LBW, there's always a reason why he wasn't LBW. So if he's gonna send somebody, they have to be well LBW'd. I could tell you that. But um, the battle seemed a little bit um, in disagreement with the decision. The same way that Marshall would have reacted had he been sent that way. Krishna moves into ball to the new. Well taken that time by Farrell. Certainly took that one well. Disconcerting bounce. Held on to that one well. So, goes down once more. Moves in now to ball, Krishna. Oh, tries to drive. Hits it into her boot. And so he doesn't go anywhere. File picks it up. Krishna once more. Moves in now to bowl. Drives in the air. And he thought about diving and kind of pulled out of it last moment. It was in the air for a little bit. Would have been a spectacular diving effort. But um, that ends the over with a single. So we understand that it's the two last batters at the crease, male and a female, and it will be the female taking strike. So it's going to be Prentice. So between Prentice and Krishna, they have picked up most of the wickets. On the back foot, full pitch delivery goes on the back foot, and that looks like Jones sliding across. So Jones got a half century today. Farrell got a half century today. That's Bolo. Both batted very well indeed. Light Brown got about 20. Yeah, go short and poor delivery, but well stopped by Athenaeus. May have slipped out of his hand because he dragged it down badly on that occasion. Punched up to Athenaeus, can't score. Yeah, goes. We want to do much better with this one. Oops, and now to bow flat and fast, and a uh, loud shout there as she was tugging across it and struck on the pad. And 
there was a loud shout. All of the fielders went up. Umpire Johnson says no. Let's stay with you a little longer. Says Prentice once more. Moves in now to Paul Slaw. Struck on the pad. He's shouting his appeal once more. This time the umpire sends on the way. And that's the game. That's the game. Prentice slowing up that one. And this time around, struck right in front. Umpire Eustace Johnson, as is his custom, taking his time deliberately getting the dreaded finger in the air. And so Nevis has won yet another game. They would have won three on the trot. And I think there's one more to play. And so the usual salutations at the end of the game will be done. Prentice walks off. I think he has bagged four, leading the team off. So that's the way we're going to leave you from the Eater Willett Park. The Nevis on the 16 team has won comprehensive victory here today.